Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. If this is the first video of mine you are seeing, then hi, my name is Kyleen. This is my second pregnancy. I am almost 35 weeks. By the time you're seeing this, I'll be 34 weeks, five days if we're gonna be exact. And this is my first time being pregnant with a girl. I had my son um, 18 months ago. My two babies are gonna be about 19 months apart. So I wanted to share with you guys what I'll be packing for my hospital bag. Now I do want to share what I'm gonna bring for myself, what I'm gonna bring for baby. I'll share a few things that my husband's gonna bring, uh, but not too much because it's a lot of self-explanatory things. But then I also wanted to share what I'll be packing for my son because he will be staying the night with my mom um, for a couple of nights. A couple of days ago, I sat down to look at my calendar for the month of March to just kind of like plan out my content and like look at the appointments we have that kind of thing and I like almost had a panic attack because at the end of March I had written what weeks I'll be and it said 39 weeks at the end of March so we are so close to baby I don't know if it's early to pack around 35 weeks I think this is about the time I did pack my bag with Rocky as well but yeah, I want to be prepared. I do feel like I need to be more prepared this time because I have to plan out like my son as well and who's gonna watch him and if he has a bag as well. So yeah, we're just gonna get things packing and get things ready to go. I actually watched my first video today just to see like what I had packed the first time and there's definitely even less things that I'm gonna bring this time. I feel like I did a pretty good job being pretty minimal the first time around but there were still so many things that I did not use and so I'm really keeping things slim here. My hospital luckily provides quite a bit and there's no need to pack things that they're gonna have. So this is gonna be a very concise list um, just kind of your necessities and yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy if I forget anything Please, please, please comment it down below because I feel like this list is like almost too casual I'm like is that all we need? I went over it with my husband. He's like, yeah, I think we're good like So anyways, let's let's jump in We're gonna start with things that I'm gonna pack for myself and like I said I'm not gonna be bringing anything that the hospital will provide me so my hospital will provide a peri bottle witch hazel pad underwear postpartum pads, dermaplast, all that kind of thing. So my postpartum care needs should be completely covered. I will say, try and ask for as many extras as you can when you're in the hospital because you can take those home with you and that will last you quite a bit. I remember I had about a week's worth of stuff with my first son, so then I only had to buy a little bit more. But I'm not gonna actually buy any postpartum things until after we get home and I see what else I will need. I think bleeding will vary depending on yourself, so I don't know exactly what I have or need, and I actually do have some leftover stuff from my first pregnancy, so whatever I will need, I'll just have my husband go get. But yeah, so I'm not bringing any of that kind of stuff, but I am gonna be bringing a nursing bra, um, actually a couple nursing bras, and these are the ones that I had with my son. It's a three pack for Amazon. And I actually took the pads out of them because I just prefer not to have extra padding. But they're just very simple. They're your typical nursing bra. They snap down. Um, I've got one in tan, black, and like a light pink. I actually still wore these throughout my entire 18 months of not having a baby, not nursing. I really like those and I think they were like 30 bucks for the three of them. So that was a really good deal. I will leave links to anything down below just to make your guys' life easy. So if you're curious about an item, just check the description box. I also forgot to mention that I'm gonna be packing my stuff and my husband's stuff in a shared suitcase. I feel like that's just the easiest option. I'm not trying to have a bag for like every single person. And I think a suitcase is perfect. We can just roll it all into the um, hospital, so. That is what I'll be putting all this into. The next item that I have is this robe that I had from my last pregnancy as well. It just has buttons like all the way down. This was what I wore as soon as I changed out of the hospital gown and it was super easy to nurse in. Um, it just made me feel really comfortable. I feel like it was black so like if there was any thing on it it wasn't as noticeable and yeah, it was really cozy. I might look into getting another one. Honestly, I probably won't though because I just don't want to be like too crazy extra this time around. I actually haven't purchased anything for myself for postpartum. So I'm just kind of reusing things that we used last time and that worked perfectly. Now, the one thing I do want to purchase is a coming home outfit. Our hospital is literally like around the corner. So it's not necessarily for that reason. It's more so just to have a comfy like lounge set. I lived in these like high-waisted shorts when I was pregnant with Rocky and I will probably wear those again too but I would love to just have like a matching set um, that is just comfy and cozy and it makes me feel somewhat good if you guys have any options let me know uh, I think I'm gonna check out free people I might splurge a little bit on myself just because 
like I said, I haven't bought anything and I just want to be comfortable in my body. I do have these pair of sweatpants. These are from Fabletics and they are just super high waisted. Like they literally go over my bump right now and they're just nice and flowy. So this is a good option, but I would love to have like another flowy shirt or something or I don't know. If you guys have had a baby already and you had something that you loved or you just think something is cute, please, please, please leave it down below because I, I need to figure that out. The next few items are just like your typical overnight items. I'm going to bring socks. Um, I didn't end up showering when I was with Rocky in the hospital. We got out of there pretty early and I just kind of wanted to come home and shower in my own house. So I'm not going to bring like shower sandals or anything like that. But I will bring my toiletries like makeup, um, toothbrush, mouthwash, mouthwash, face wash, and maybe some shampoo and conditioner. Probably not though because like I said, I just feel like I'd rather do that at home. But I will bring some hair ties and chapstick. Those two things I feel like saved me last time. I have two different kinds of hair ties that I really like. One is just super good for how thick my hair is because as you can see, I have a lot of hair. Um, and then the other one is just really nice because it doesn't leave creases in my hair. So I don't really know how I'm going to be feeling about all of that. But I'm going to bring both of those and then some chapstick too. The one item I am going to bring that my hospital will provide is nipple cream. Um, I personally didn't use enough of it postpartum with Rocky and it really chapped me up and I just don't want to deal with that they give you like little samples and so if I don't want to just like keep asking I'm just going to get a tube and that I will just take home and keep using there too but that was super helpful I also have a tip for you if you are planning on nursing when you start to produce milk take that milk and rub it around your nipple it will heal it so much better I didn't hear this until like a few days into nursing and I had a rough go nursing with Rocky. I will leave that video linked down below, just my breastfeeding journey and like postpartum, that kind of thing, if you guys are interested. But the first two weeks were like literal hell. And so I'm really hoping I won't have that experience again. Um, and that is something that helped was putting the milk on my nipple and then making sure I always had nipple cream on as well. Okay, the last few things I'm gonna bring is a pillow and a blanket. This is more so for postpartum for me, TMI, but I mean, we're all probably women here watching this. I got really bad hemorrhoids when I had Rocky and it was so uncomfortable to lay down. And so I was just constantly like tossing and turning and uncomfortable so I want to have pillows that I can just like prop myself up with um, for that same reason I do want to get the freedom mom like comfort pillow it's like a donut pillow that's supposed to help with hemorrhoids or like butt pressure I guess for lack of cuter word and so I am gonna get that I haven't purchased it yet but I will definitely be getting that before because like I said that was some pain that I just wouldn't wish on anyone it was so uncomfortable and then I'm also going to bring my nursing pillow this is the snuggle me organic one I just have it from when I was pregnant with Rocky and I found that nursing for the first like couple weeks while your stomach is still shrinking was really hard because your belly is like still in the way and the baby like has to kind of like fit in between your belly and your boobs and so the pillow just kind of like propped it up and allowed me to just kind of like put the baby on a lot easier so I will be bringing that to the hospital and then the last thing that I'm going to bring is a water bottle I feel like during labor you just want so much water where I'm delivering I don't remember them giving me like a good size water bottle um I remember a different hospital did but the one I ended up at didn't it was just like a cup so I felt like I really just needed like a good size water bottle and if you guys have been following for any sort of time you know that I love my epic water filters water bottle clean water is so important to me especially right now just growing my baby and nurturing my body and my baby and that is exactly what this bottle provides me if you guys can see there's a filter in there that cleans out 99.99% of any contaminant of any contaminants 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 any contaminants I don't know if I'm saying that right but any toxins in the water and it just ensures that I'm getting some clean water so I'm really excited because I've teamed up with epic water filters again for another giveaway but I'm also collabing with a fellow mom here on YouTube her name is Margaret and she is also a mom to two kids she has two little boys but she does a lot of content on just like minimalism and like lifestyle and living her best life and she's just a really like positive light so I'm really excited to be collabing with her and we are not 
giving away water bottles this time we are actually giving away pitchers each of our channels are going to do a giveaway for one pitcher so two of you guys can win but basically what this means is that your whole family can benefit from the clean water because this pitcher is something that you just fill up and you can keep in the fridge and you can pour into whatever glass that you need whereas the water bottle you have to drink it through the filter in order to receive it so it's just kind of expanding it to the family and if you're a mom who cannot breastfeed this is extra special because you can use that filtered water for your bottles which is just ensuring that your baby is getting clean water with their formula which is amazing so I'm really excited that I get to uh, give one of these away to you guys so if you'd like to enter make sure you are following both my channel and Margaret's and then come back and comment on my channel just so that I know that you entered and why don't you just tell me why uh, this picture would be an amazing addition to your family so yeah I'm really excited but a water bottle is definitely a necessity for labor and delivery okay that is all that I'm bringing for myself like I said it doesn't really feel like a whole lot it just feels like I'm going like overnight somewhere um, but let's move on to baby girl and again I am not going to bring anything that the hospital would provide for her so that means I don't need any diapers wipes they have like blankets and spit up rags if I need formula or anything like that they have it all so I'm really just kind of bringing clothes uh, an outfit that I want to take a photo with her for and then just a few necessities the first thing I wanted to mention is I'm going to be packing all of her stuff in her new diaper bag this is not sponsored um, but I do have a discount code this is the last day that you can use it February 28th when I upload this but it will save you 25 5% off any of their classic diaper bags or their weekender bags which would be perfect for the hospital but like I said this is just a code to help you guys it does not benefit me at all but I love this diaper bag and I'm really excited to use it this time around with my two kids I will leave that discount code and any other discount codes I have for you guys down below in the description box so just make sure you check there for all the details okay so the first thing of course we're gonna bring is her car seat that's gonna be installed in our car ready to go but the next thing that's kind of fun is a coming home outfit and I'm not a hundred percent sure yet but I wanted to share this because this is the first outfit that I bought when I found out I was having a girl and it's just so precious and I would love to have her be announced in it um, it's a little two-piece set I remember last time I wanted to do a two-piece set too and it is kind of hard when they're so little but I didn't want to do just like a sleeper but I ended up doing a sleeper so let's hope that I actually put her in this but this is from a company called wear sabai and i really 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 love the girl she's so sweet and this is just such a darling outfit so i was thinking that with this like little tiny bow um that is from i think this is from a little poppy co subscription if her head is anything like rocky's head um which was extremely cone shaped um i don't think i've ever shared that photo to the internet and i think i'm gonna do my child a solid and not but it was so incredibly cone shaped so if that happens, we're going to need to cover it up a little bit more. So I have this bow as well. This is from Bloom Head Wraps and it's just so dang cute. So that is the one um, coming home outfit I am thinking about. Now I do have a few sleepers that I'm going to bring that could also double as an outfit to announce her in. So if I don't go with that, um, I have these three options. But these are actually all from Gumi Kids. Um, I do have a discount code with them too. But I absolutely love their sleepers. They are just the best quality. And I thought this one was super cute. It's just brown with floral print. All of the feet can be covered in the hands. It zips up from the bottom for an easy diaper change. And then it has the buttons on the back where you can um, change their diaper easily for that as well. But I have that one. And then I have this like little waffle knit one that's like a cream and beige color. And then I also just have this like little cream one too. So those are all options that I can then just like add t with the bow and um, her little name sign, which I am going to show you guys. I'm not going to tell you her name. I'm sorry. I'm just going to wait till she's born at this point, but I will show you this. <laughs> it's kind of like upside down and around, but this is what I'm going to use to announce her name. And so that is for sure going in the bag. I also, I'm going to bring socks, but we actually don't have any socks for her. I don't know why I thought I would just reuse Rocky socks, but I think that's actually kind of gross and socks are not expensive. So we're going to buy some socks. And then we also have some blanket options. I'm going to bring this Serenoni blanket because it is so incredibly soft and I just feel like it'll be really cozy for her. Um, I also thought about laying that underneath her when I take her photo um, to announce her. And then I also have these other two Serenoni swaddles um, that we can use to just wrap her up or use as spit up rags. When she sleeps at night, I'm actually going to use 
this nested bean swaddle. This is what Rocky lived in <laughs> for the first like five months until he could roll over. And it is just the best sleep sack. I swear it helped us so much. But there's little beans here and on the sides to add like a gentle pressure. So it makes it feel like her hand is like, or our hand is on her chest. And then instead of having to like swaddle it, it's literally just a Velcro. It's fold it over and it's good so I'm going to bring that for sure I remember night one was totally fine with Rocky but night two he cluster fed and I feel like that is a very common thing and so I want to make sure I have a good swaddle um, and with that I also want to have a binky because that will save me a bit too so we just went with the frig binkies now I know a lot of you guys were concerned in the last video um, I think it was my baby shower haul about these being recalled but the natural rubber ones are not recalled it was the silicone ones so these ones are completely safe um, for you to use for your baby but they are so cute they're just like these little um, flower details I guess that's an easier way to show you guys but yes we'll have that and then the last thing I think I'm gonna bring for her, let me make sure, yeah, is her sound machine. We just went with the Hatch Mini, and I'm bringing this honestly for all of our sakes because I remember in the hospital they literally came in like every hour checking on me, checking my blood pressure, like um, I don't remember if at that point I had to keep checking my blood sugars, but I just want that to like tune out all of the noise that is a hospital and we rely heavily on our sound machine still for Rocky so I plan on doing the same with baby girl and I want to have that okay so that's all I'm bringing for myself and baby the next one I'm going to move on to is Rocky and I just had to share his little backpack that I'm going to be packing him because it's the cutest freaking thing I showed it in my last video this is from a company called Dossé Lar again I don't benefit from this but I do have a discount code for you guys if you want to save some money but this is what I'm going to pack all of his stuff in and my mom is going to be watching Rocky overnight and luckily she has so much for him already she's so cute and she has a crib um, a crib mattress she has a sound machine she has a monitor and she even has a slumber pod so it blacks out the room for him so the only thing that I need to bring sleep wise is his binkies and his blanket and then of course just like pajamas um, his toothbrush, toothpaste, hair stuff, and then a couple outfits. She also has a ton of toys for him, and so I don't have to worry about that, but I am going to bring his panda because he loves riding his panda, especially in her yard. She has a really big yard with just lots of space to roam around in, but that is literally all I'm going to pack for him. It's going to be super simple, um, and we'll probably get that going in like a couple weeks or so just because he doesn't have too many clothes but I also did want to pack a nicer outfit for her to put him in when we come home and she brings him home so that way when he meets baby girl um, he'll have just like a cuter outfit and his hair done and all that kind of stuff so I will be doing that a need to buy one I think that's a special thing to buy an outfit for so we'll do that as well and then the last person I wanted to mention is my husband and no I'm not packing his bag he can pack his own bag but I did want to share just in case you guys were looking for ideas he's gonna pack all of his typical overnight things as far as like clothes uh, pajamas underwear like toiletries all that kind of thing but I am gonna have him in charge of a couple other things the first is uh, chargers for our phone my camera and my computer and then I also want him to bring my camera um, this tripod and uh, my computer just in case we get bored sorry if anything changed my camera ran out of storage on my memory card but the last thing i wanted to mention is he's gonna bring snacks because we are still restricted with covid at the hospital we can at this point have one support person and then one visitor every 24 hours and it can't be a different person so yeah, it's still pretty strict for us, and so I'm going to have him bring snacks for himself. I personally cannot have snacks, um, at least this is how it was with Rocky, but because I have gestational diabetes, again, my blood sugar has to be checked like every hour, and I can't eat anything while I'm in labor, so that is awesome. But I would love snacks for once I give birth, because as soon as I give birth, they're not worried about it anymore, because my placenta is out, and I no longer have gestational diabetes, which I cannot wait for that time to roll around. But that is pretty much it for what I'm going to be bringing to the hospital. Like I said, if I forgot anything, please let me know because I just, I don't know if I'm forgetting everything. I really feel like you don't need a ton to go to the hospital because they provide so much. And like I said, we're luckily really close. So if we need anything, Nathaniel can just like run home really quick. Yeah, if you're coming from Margaret's video, I hope that you enjoyed. It was so nice having you here and I hope that you stick around and maybe consider subscribing and staying. Um, I forgot to mention at the beginning, but I post a lot of motherhood content, clearly lifestyle things. I really like home decor. Um, I like just doing sensory activities with my son. 
I like just all that kind of stuff. So if that interests you, please consider subscribing. I hope that you stay. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.